Moba Zane posted a community post about how um, about general channel description says Have you ever seen them doing five men when they call themselves like a best team? Like so I I found that pretty disrespectful unlike the many other people disagreed said um it's just a challenge, it's just for fun, you guys take it so seriously. But I found it this, the other way. And I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. And I, I actually talked about it, and how there's a time I mentioned how Zayn used Gosu to get more uh, more views. He used the name, my name, Basic's name on the title. Let me turn the music off. On the title, to get more views, that's what I said. That's true. I said it. But then Zayn responded yesterday or today, I think, about how that's not true. Did Hoon actually say I put Hoon and Basic in the title to get where I am? Did Hoon actually say something like that? After I make this point, I'm done. Because Hoon and Basic wanted me to come to Mobile Legends so I could play in M1 instead of General. So when I switched over, of course I was playing with them, of course I was putting them in my title. And I think it's really fucked up that Hoon would say that. That I just used them. When he had me over here, switched, my, switched AOV to ML, basically. Used, You're not although, wrong, bro. You're I don't mind bragging, it. Right. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm ashamed that he would say such a thing. When he had me come to this game, him and Basic played with them to replace General for M1. I, s I saw that a lot. People were saying that I used Gosu and now I'm turning my back. Huna Basic told me to come to ML because I didn't think General would do any good. I didn't like how he played. Hoon told me the same thing after the tournament. How it's sad that he has to go mid even though General is a marksman. Yeah, like I don't want to talk about it, trust me, I don't. But I want to defend myself, man. It feels like I haven't had a single chance to defend myself. But that's one of the claims that I just don't like about Hoon. I'm sad that he would even say something like that. He made me switch to this to this game. And I think it was a good- I'm glad that he made me switch, you know? Pressured me because it's a better game, I'm more fun here. Having more fun. But he's such a p piece of shit for saying something like that, man. Knowing full well, I was playing with them because he wanted me to replace General for M1, but I came too late. Always complaining to me how bad General is. He's such a piece of shit, man, for that fucking man. I used to respect him so much, man. Like, I love that guy. I would, like, suck his dick on my stream, say he's so good, he's the best. And he is really good, but I just hate him now. Personally, I hate him now. I can't stand him. So many people are saying I used him, and it's so wrong. It's, it's kind of- I don't want to say anymore because I don't have much else to say. Yeah, the thing is, they just come to the stream and start spreading these fucking lies. So it's like I want to defend myself. Really. The only way to defend myself is to talk about this shit. I feel like everyone got the wrong idea about me, about everything. I mean, that is true, that he used it. But I think he meant, like, he used it because... Basic and I asked him to come to um, join M1 and replace General. And here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. So, basically what he said was, Zayn said that Basic and I pressured him to switch to ML from AOV. It's like, a, it's like eight months ago. So that he can replace General in M1. But this is that very misworded. Because we did ask him to come join to M1 because we knew ML can offer way more uh, way more for a streamer than a dying game like AOV. And we believe Zayn will have like no problem catching up to the meta and become strong MM, mid, or side laner to replace me mostly actually. Because I knew I could not go to M1 as you guys know. To, to me. Replace to me. Replace me. Mostly. And maybe fill General's spot too. We mentioned it. We mentioned it. Because General was uh, skeptical about going to M1. I think he talked about it in the... Let me tell you about in Gen X's video. I think he talked about how he was skeptical about going to M1 in the first place. So we needed a backup. 
that plays every role. And and Zayn used to go mid only, only mid in ML back then. And playing MM, he's playing ADC and AOV. Also, it is, and also it is required to have like three citizens in one team to go to M1. So like Zayn was a perfect fit, perfect fit. And in return, in return, what we can provide is by him joining M1, there's a reason for us to like invite him to Gosu and stay in Gosu to give like uh, more exposure to the ML community that doesn't know who Zayn is, you know? So it's like a win-win trade. Uh, but, but here's the problem. We did not ask him to come replace General. <laughs> and like, first of all, that's impossible because Jenner is the leader. Replacing is replacing him isn't absurd. And second, like, why would we replace General with someone that has never touched ML marksman for so long that has no idea how the game works in the first place? And there's only two months left for M1. There's only two months. So here's here's the thing. We asked him on September 2019, about eight months ago. So after we talked about it, after we talked about it, the conversation about M1, Basic and I and uh, Zayn, uh, he made this uh, community poll about whether he should switch or stay in AOV. And that's I think that's what uh, Vale was referring as an evidence, how I asked him to join for, in the first place. So, for that post, he made the poll. That's true. And then, he, he uh, I think, yeah, the most of the fan base of his channel was from AOV. So, of course, of course, majority of them told him to stay. In, and, and guess what? He did. He did stay in AOV. And ever since then, I had almost zero interaction with him or pressured him to switch like he mentioned, like, then, then here's the thing. Uh, you guys see here, this is a M M1 US qualifier. This is where the roster is, uh, was kind of locked. So uh, we needed, we needed an answer before the qualifier. But he, he said he's going to stay. So you guys see the date? The Emir qualifier is uh, September 28th, 20, 2019, right? And look at this. And the M1 is November 16th, the final. So we needed an answer before September. And M1's gonna be at November. And after a month with no re interaction, guess what it did? Look at this. This is when he posts the video about how he's gonna quit the ML, uh, AOV. I think he posts after this, like the day after this. He said, I think I will switch now. He suddenly invited us to the group chat. AOV season reset, I can't even find ranked games. That's how bad it is. And Basic said, LMFO, lit, you know the vibes, but I don't want an ADC. ADC is a marksman. Come to Philippines with me, bro, you won't. Uh, it's not my style. You go side, assassin. After a month, uh, declining my um, our request, I mean, I understand that he's gonna stay. I have no hard feeling. I had no feelings of, about this at all. I said, "Oh, it's nice to have you back," but our deal, our deal is over. Our deal is over. You joining Gosu and get exposure and you do work for us, it's over. That was over. And but but I don't think he intended to come back to uh, M1. So, the roster was uh, for M1 was locked, and he understood he's too late for M uh, late for the M1 too. Then why he came back? Because M AOV died, just like he said, and just like we told him, right? And at this point, he had no other choice than moving to ML. Like we didn't force him; he had no choice. And he just simply wanted to join Gosu to start building his fan base, which was the best move, because. Everyone in NA knew Gozu. 
So that's what he tried to do. And I totally get it. Like, that's the best move. I would do that too. But, but. I'll explain later. But I still consider him as like a friend and I knew he could perform well, like as a side laner or assassin in Gozu in the future, right? And he said, he clearly said he, does, he doesn't want to play marksman. Like, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get that. I get that. That's why, that's why like, if we play assassin and then if we can come back to us, I think we can, we can have him in Gozu and then have some synergy. Despite the fact that I have zero gain for me in doing helping him, I still did. I tried to answer all his questions related to the stream and try to play with him and give, gave, gave him a shout out. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, I gave him a shout out on stream. I said, this is a, my teammate from AOV, which is a very good player. You need to subscribe. But which I figured out later that he said, I quote, it's a whack shout out. Because I only introduced him, him uh, during my live stream instead of making community posts. I don't know what he expected. He never asked me what he expected. He just wanted to shout out. So I did it. But he called it a whack shout out. So, alright. Cool. Cool. But that's not the real point. That's, that's not important. Like, that's a past. I just want to address that I'm not lying about things. So this is not really important for the drama. And the problem is that Zayn, uh, I expected Zayn to play Assassin or Fighter. But this guy started, decided to play Marksman, even though he, does, he doesn't want to play Marksman. And he wanted to join Gosu again. Of course, Jenner had no reason to accept him because Emon was already locked. And... I don't know, I don't know if there's, there was anything Zayn could have brought to the team Gozu when their roles either like literally colliding each other, you know? And it was clear to General why why Zayn wanted to join Gozu. Of course it's a, it's for fame. I mean I understand. It's basic understands. Cause we 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 have a friendship. But Zayn and General, they have nothing together in common. And when General sees the intention of Zayn, there was no reason for him to accept him. So he rejected. So, I don't know how close Zayn thing we were back then, but I never promised him anything, especially when, we, when he decided to stay in AOV when we first asked him to join M1 to move. Uh, and even if I did promise, I, <laughs> I don't think you should make the person that helps you feel obligated to help you. And it is a fact that he used Gosu a lot to get more exposure, no matter what people say. It is a fact. Everyone does that, so I don't really mind it. But the problem is that if you use the name Gosu to get more exposure, have some respect. That's why I say it is disrespectful and immature to call General a goon. A goon in DM and changes description. Look at this. This is what Zayn did. What Zayn said to General. And you guys think this this brings competition? Is this is this what you want? <laughs> is this competition, guys? Really? Really? And post the community post. Hey, look at the look at the date. Look at the date. It's a It's a day before. It's a day before he made a community post. He sent he sent the DM first, then he made a post. So you guys see? You guys see the ironic irony there? How he wants just the competition.
right next day, when General followed up with no reply, General blocked him. That's it. No reply. Smart for him. And by looking at by looking at all this context, guys, by looking at all this context, you guys you guys already know Jen and Zen General and Zane already ha already have a very bad term because General rejected Zane from joining Gosu, as you can see. And people have been comparing them both because they were in the same server with the same role. Like, you you know why. It happens. Like, you saw it. If you go Zane stream, they are like talking about general, 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 before, before. And if you go general, talk, they say, do you know Zane? Zane's the best marksman. They always fight together. So they were in bad terms, even though they never trash talk each other because of the fans. And... And by, by looking at this, you guys know they're not a friend. They're not a friend. Zane's 18, General's 30. And General doesn't really... General has this Korean vibe. And like, he, he doesn't really um, like when the young people disrespect or something like that. So you guys know they're in bad terms, pretty much. And... They're not even friend to joke around, and I think joke is to make someone laugh. And if you're directly calling General Goon and telling him to change the channel description in DM, that is nothing joke, but an but an act of fight, which General doesn't even find it worth to pick up, cause he just blocked it. So, here, here, thank you for remember. Wanting a competition and wanting an NA to be the stronger region, I absolutely support that idea. And the one that does well doing it, doing that is Dave. And there's like a great example like Dave, and he actually chose that road. That's that's an absurd. That doesn't make any sense. And like. And you saw even before any streamer such as me or General or any other Gosu member addresses this issue about his post, community post. Zane's, his post had lots of comments saying the post was something not right. Even to the those who had no context about this situation before I address it. They found it already wrong. So I really do not believe what Zane tried to get out of from this uh, community post was just a pure competition but being salty that Jen's still using the term the best team in NA even if goes to lost the tourney I can't see it otherwise and even if creating a competition was his intention it does not change my mind that like it only brought hate from both streamers fans and it is completely wrong way to do it did it bring competition look at this all, all, it all it brought was drama, hate. How is this competition? What are we competing? Like, fan fighting? Are we, are we competing in terms of fan fighting? I thought we were talking about ML here. People talk, making dramas over it. It's not a competition anymore. It's just hate. It's increasing hate in the region. Guys, the channel description that Jenner had was up there more than a year. I don't even know. I didn't even know about it. I don't know about you guys. I didn't even know that Jen had Jen had the description like that. And I asked General, he said, he said, I said, I asked General, oh, you had the description? And he said, he he forgot how to edit it. So it just he just left it like that ever since he wrote it. But Zane somehow used it to create a competition? I don't think so. I don't think so. He just somehow saw that post channel description. Probably someone sent it to him. And he got, what the fuck? Goes to best him? Oh, nah. This goon needs to change the ch channel description. And then fucking got mad, DM'd him. And he was like, oh shit, I shouldn't have DM'd him. Wait, wait, how do I, how do I make this up? Oh yeah, let's make a community post and make it like we made a competition. I, I don't know. I don't know anything other than that. Like, 
<laughs> I don't know. But listen, I'm not here to f I'm not here to personally attack him. I'm just saying that I'm not lying. I didn't even want to talk about it. All I said was that he was immature. And if he was smart enough to know what that means, he should have done the right thing. Sincerely apologizing. That, that's it. It's not a big deal. I understand people make mistakes, especially when they're young, because I did too. But I feel like being mature means that admitting your mistake and learn from mistake and prevent from happening it again. This is not even a big deal to begin with. Just like many people said, but no matter what your true intention was, if the person getting the message feels dis disrespected or offended, then it is your job to apologize instead of calling them they are the ones who misunderstood your perfect intention, you know? I, th I think that's the right choice to do. If I were in his position and deep down, I realized I fucked up, I made a mistake, I would rather try to fix the problem and admitting by admitting my mistake first and take full responsibility of my action, then I'd rather take the full responsibility than trying to cover it up with another bullshit. I just wish I could stream my gameplay, guys, to entertain you guys. That's it. And I'm so sorry to bother all of you guys who trying to came here for Outlast or Gushin gameplay or Gushin new skin with such unnecessary informations. I do not wake I do not want to make any drama, but play the game and have fun with my viewers. That's it. I just, I just, I just wish he just uh, take responsibility of what he did. Fully apologize to General personally, and then try not to make this happen again. I think that's the best thing to do. I wish everyone grows in an A together, not fight each other. Goon, it's okay, we still heart you. That's it.